Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the website for the Frederick Schiller University, and they're talking about duckweed, which is very common in some Asian cuisines, but it's not eaten by most people around the world. However, it's about 30% protein by volume, by weight rather, and it also has a lar large amount of fiber and omega-3 fatty acids. Tilapia love it in fish farming environments, and it grows very rapidly. It can double its weight within one to two days. Of course, the link to this article will be in the description. It is also good at filtering some minerals out of the water. It might not be a good complete water filtration system, but it could help with nutrient runoff. Here are some pictures of duckweed. I'm sure you've seen it if you've been to any swamps ever. <laughs> it likes to grow in somewhat warm conditions, but it can grow almost anywhere in the world. There are a few different species here, as you can see, and they look a little bit different. The Wolfalea and the Wolfia uh, varieties are the ones that are more common in Asian cuisine. Here we are at offthegridnews.com, and they're talking about how you can use it for both livestock and in your own diet. They say it tastes a little bit like watercress or spinach, a little peppery, uh, but clean tasting nonetheless. You can put it in some smoothies. But one of the great things is the volume of food that and feed that you can produce. About five to six tons an acre. Actually, I think they say five to eight tons. Yeah, it can produce five to eight tons of dry matter per acre, while soybeans produce about less than a ton per acre. That's just because of how fast it grows. Of course, fish can eat the duckweed wet, but for chickens and horses or anything else, sheep, cattle, goats, you're going to want to really feed it dry. That's what they recommend here, though. And I'm going to link to these, this page and this page in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.